Roadmaps produced by these different organizations all reach the conclusion that SAF will play a significant part in the airline industry reaching net zero carbon emissions by 2050. Demand from airlines is strong. Airlines have used SAF to fuel over half a million flights. Offtake agreements are in place and a rapidly growing number have adopted challenging SAF commitments for 2030. But these demand signals have not resulted in the needed ramping up of production. SAF producers need to put their industry on track to produce a thousand times current levels. Moreover, demand signals need to be topped up by policy incentives. But what else is missing to ramp up SAF production? The US Inflation Reduction Act made $3 billion in incentives available for SAF, with a further $3 billion in investment through the Grand Challenge. The EU is playing catch-up. But why have so few governments copied this successful approach? A second challenge is technology. 80% of the feedstock for SAF production over the next five years will be animal fats, used cooking oil and industrial grease. Investment in and certification of new technologies to take advantage of the many pathways to SAF is essential. At present, public policy support for SAF is primarily mandates, which, without corresponding incentives, risk limited success in generating supply. Governments have a stake in the game. Through ICAO, they agreed that a 5% reduction in aviation CO2 emissions should come from SAF by 2030. The question now is, what policy measures, investments and action will really help to achieve these goals?